I am presenting you Aura SR, which is a small model that enables you to scale images to high resolution. This Aura SR is a 600 million parameter up sampler model derived from the GigaGAN paper. This model can upscale low resolution images to four times the resolution and can be applied repeatedly. The researchers have published this model under a truly open source license and you can see that on Hugging Face. In this video, we are going to install and run this model locally in our notebook and then we will see how can we upscale an image. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to our friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. The VM which I am using is this Ubuntu 22.04 in GUI and the GPU card is this NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to the website in video description plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount. So do check them out. Let's go back to our model and learn a bit more about it. This Aura SR excels in upscaling images generated by text to image models. This model does not have any limitation on resolution or upscaling factor. Now, the interesting bit is that instead of diffusion, they trained this on GAN upscaler. GANs generate images in a single forward pass through the generator network. Whereas, diffusion models use an iterative process of gradually denoising an image, which requires multiple steps. Generating and upscaling images with GANs can be orders of magnitude faster than diffusion and autoregressive models. For example, Aura SR can generate 1024 pixel images, which is four times upscale in just 0.25 seconds, and that is really fast. So let's go to our Jupyter Notebook in this GUI and get it installed and we will also try it out with one of the images. Let me open my terminal because this is where I am going to create a virtual environment. I will be using Conda so make sure you have Conda installed. I already have this Conda and if you don't know how to install Conda, I already have done heaps of videos so please check the channel. Let me paste the command to create Conda's virtual environment. I'm just calling it Aura SR in Python 3.11. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. And you can see that it is all done and tested. In the parenthesis, we are in our <coughs> new virtual environment. Let's install Jupyter Notebook here. Let's wait for it. Should not take too long again. And that is done. Let's trigger our Jupyter Notebook. It is going to open it in the browser where we can use it. And maybe let me also make it that bit bigger. That is done. Let's open our Notebook. And notebook should be open in this tab just in case you want to make sure that you are in fact running in the conda environment just simply run this is dot executable and you can see that it is showing you that it is running in this conda environment let's also install some of the prerequisites let me run it and it is going to take uh, some time so let's wait for it to finish and i'm going um Excited to see that they have even released their own PyPy package as Aura SR and rest of the stuff request below and IPython. IPython is to display the images, below is to manipulate the image and then to download and all that stuff to open it and request is to download it. So let's wait for it to finish. It is going to take a bit of a time and it is running as you can see this from Asterisk on the left. Libraries are installed now. Let me scroll down and you can see that everything is installed. Let's import these. So I'm importing all of them. That is done. 
And now in the next step, let's define a simple function which will load an image from URL. If you're loading the images from your local system, you can skip this. You don't need to use this method. And in the next step, I have loaded one of the images um, from this URL into this image. And then you can upscale that image by using Aura SR. And I will also show you this image shortly. We will see both of them. So let me upscale it. And before I do that, the upscaling of the image, I mean, let's also download the model too, because that is why we are running this video and I forgot to do it above, so, but that is fine. We can download it now. So I, we, as you can see, I'm just running this Aura SR. So let me download this. And you can see that the model size is quite small. It is around four gig or something like that. So let's wait for it to finish. It will not take too long. And model is downloaded and now let's upscale the image and this is a image i'm upscaling i'll just show you this is a iguana i think wrapped around some sort of clothing let's go back here and now we can upscale this image and that is done and this is the image which it has upscaled looks quite good to me okay so all in all i believe a good model and the best thing about it is that it is quite lightweight and the instruction seems to be quite easy to follow. I was also curious to see if there is any um, benchmarking around it, but I couldn't find it. But they do have a blog post to which I will drop the link in the video's description. Now, one thing I wanted to show you before I go is one of the glimpses of this Giga GAN paper. If you get a time, do read it out. It's quite interesting for text to image synthesis and I'm also planning to do some separate video on it very soon, especially some of the portraits which it has generated. They look really awesome if you go through this uh, page. And um, also they have done some disentangled prompt interpolation, which looks amazing. I don't think so. Even my 48 GB VRAM GPU would be able to sustain it, but we can try it out. And then this is the one which we were talking about and this is what i wanted to show you that um, this has just upscaled this picture to this one and you can see there are a lot of other examples and you can do this upscaling easily with that model very very easily there you go you see because we didn't use the blurred one but you can use it if you like amazing stuff really good stuff so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i will drop the link to model card in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching